do you have earphones that always keep tangling whenever you put them in your bag for like two seconds and then you have to spend 10 minutes detangling just to listen to one minute of music and you may have already made my cute heart pouch but you want to use it for other stuff so this is why i have this tutorial just for you you're going to need some yarn so a pair of scissors and i'm using a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook please make sure your yarn size correlates with the crochet hook because you know we have to get the sizing right here you will also need some earphones that you've already detangled so you can see the perfect comparison of the before and after once you make this heart keyring. And the inspiration for this keyring comes from this heart on this heart pouch. So if you've already made the heart pouch, perfect because they're both going to be matching and you'll love it. So to start off, you want to go ahead and make the circle we all hate a magic circle. Unfortunately, we will have to make a magic circle for this tutorial. And to start off, we're going to go ahead and chain three. So one, two, and three. And now we're going to make three treble crochets. So you want to yarn over two times, go into the magic circle, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through the first two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through the second two loops on your hook, and yarn over and pull through the last two loops on your hook. So you want to yarn over two times again, go into that magic circle, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through the first two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through the second two loops on your hook, and yarn over and pull through the last two loops on your hook. And we'll do that one more time to make our third treble crochet. So, so far you should have a chain three and three treble crochets in your magic circle. And now we're going to make four double crochets. You want to yarn over, go into that magic circle, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through the first two loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through the second two loops on your hook. And that's our first double crochet completed. We'll go ahead and make our second double crochet. And now for our third one. And one more for our fourth double crochet. And now you want to chain one. And we'll go ahead and make another treble crochet into that magic circle. Just one. And now we'll make another chain one. And since we're making a symmetrical heart, we'll just do the same thing we did before. So you want to go ahead and make four double crochets into that magic circle. One, two, three, and four. And now we'll go ahead and make three treble crochets. So one, two, and three. And now we'll go ahead and chain three. So one, two, and three. And slip stitch into that magic circle, just like so. Now you wanna go ahead and pull on the tail end of the magic circle just to make that hole smaller. Be careful not to lose any of your stitches. And it's kind of at this point where you kind of want to adjust that magic circle and make it as tight as you can without ripping any yarn. And that is your first row done. And look how similar it looks to the heart that we made on that pouch before. So to start round two, we will go ahead and chain one. And we're going to crochet two single crochets into that chain three space we made at the start of round one. So you can see that gap between the first treble crochet and the chain three. In that gap we'll make two single crochets just like so and now we'll make one half double crochet into that first stitch and now in the next stitch we'll go ahead and make one double crochet and now in the next stitch we'll make two double crochets in the same stitch so one go back into that same stitch and make your second double crochet we'll do the same thing for the next stitch so make two double crochets in the same stitch so make one double crochet, go back into that same stitch and make your second double crochet. And now we'll go ahead and make one double crochet into the next three stitches. So one, two, and three. And now we will make our last double crochet on this side in that chain one space. And we will make a treble crochet in the next stitch. So a treble crochet on top of that treble crochet. Remembering to yarn over two times for your treble crochets. And we'll go ahead and make one double crochet in that next chain one space. So again, we, because it is a symmetrical heart, we will repeat what we did on the other side. So we'll make one double crochet in the next three stitches. One, two, three, and then we'll make two double crochets in the same stitch. So for the next two stitches, so one, go into that same stitch, 
two, and then again, make one double crochet, go into that same stitch and make your second double crochet. And now in the next stitch, and now in the next stitch, we'll make one double crochet. And in the next, we'll make one half double crochet. And in that chain three gap between this first chain three and that treble crochet, you're going to go ahead and make two single crochets. So one and two. And now you wanna chain one and slip stitch into that first chain one you made at the start of the round. It can be a bit tricky to get into that first chain one space there. And you wanna go ahead and make a slip stitch. And that is your second round finished. So in total, this pattern has four rounds. So we only have two more rounds left to go. Also, depending on your size, you can also make it up to three rounds, but I would prefer you guys to make it up to four rounds, just so you can comfortably fit your earphones in. And now to start round three, you want to chain one and make one single crochet in the first stitch. So that first single crochet of the previous row, and you'll make two single crochets in that next stitch. So one, go into that same stitch, two, and this is just to make our increase. And now in that next stitch, we'll make one half double crochet. And now in that next stitch, you wanna go ahead and make one double crochet. And in the next two stitches, you wanna make two double crochets in that same stitch. So one, go back in that same stitch, two double crochets. Again, in that next stitch, make one double crochet, back into that same stitch and make two double crochets. Now you want to go ahead and make one double crochet in the next two stitches. So one and two. And now in that next stitch, you want to make two double crochets in the same stitch. So one, go back into that same stitch and make your second double crochet. And now you want to make one double crochet in the next two stitches. So one and two. Now make one more double crochet between the treble crochet stitch and the double crochet stitch of the previous row. And now go ahead and make one treble crochet into that treble crochet stitch. Remember to yarn over two times for a treble crochet. Just like always, we will mirror what we did on the other side. So you want to make one double crochet in that space between the treble crochet and the double crochet of the previous row. Now you want to make one double crochet in the next two stitches. So one, and in the next stitch, you'll make another one. So now you wanna go ahead and make two double crochets into the same stitch. So one, go back into that stitch and make your second one and make one double crochet in the next two stitches. So one, and now two. And this is what it should look like so far. And now for the next two stitches, you'll make two double crochets in the same stitch. So one, go back into that same stitch and make two. And now in the next stitch again, make one double crochet and go back into that same stitch and make a second double crochet. And now into the next two stitches, we'll be making one double crochet in each. So one double crochet in the first stitch, one double crochet in the second. And now you want to go ahead and make one half double crochet in that next stitch. So one. And then we'll make two single crochets into that same stitch. So one, go back into that same stitch and make your second single crochet. And now into the next stitch, we'll make one single crochet. And finally, we will chain one and slip stitch into that initial chain one of the round. And this is what your heart should look like so far. Your heart should look exactly like this, minus that massive gap near the bottom point of the heart. I actually changed the uh, pattern a little bit just to get rid of that gap because I accidentally made two chain ones in that row and previously I did tell you guys to ignore it. So I really hope you guys did. And this is the size of the heart so far. So you can stop here and you can make a little mini pouch for anything, but I don't think it's big enough for our earphones. So we'll be carrying on to round four. And maybe this is our last round. So to start round four, you'll chain one and make a single crochet in the next three stitches. So one, two, and three. 
And now what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and make another single crochet in that third stitch because I made a mistake. And now we will make one double crochet in the next two stitches. So one and two. And now we'll make two double crochets in one stitch for the next two stitches. So two double crochets for that stitch. And now two double crochets for the second stitch. And now for the side of the heart, what we're going to do is make one double crochet into that next three stitches. So one, two, and three. And now you want to make two double crochets in the same stitch for the next two stitches. So one, go back into that same stitch, make your second double crochet and do it again. So one, go back into that same stitch and make your second double crochet. And now we'll do what we did before. We'll make one double crochet into those next three stitches. So one, two, and three. And now we'll make one double crochet in that space between the double crochet and the treble crochet of the previous round. And make sure to yarn over twice to make your treble crochet above the next stitch, which is the treble crochet in the previous round. And now we'll mirror what we did on the other side. So we'll go ahead and make a double crochet between the double crochet and the treble crochet of the previous round. And then you want to go ahead and make one double crochet into the next three stitches. So that's our third one done. And now you want to make two double crochets into the same stitch for the next two stitches. So one, two, first stitch done. Again for the second stitch, one and two, our second stitch is done. Now we'll go ahead and make one double crochet into the next three stitches. Again, so one, two double crochets, and finally three double crochets. And again, we'll make two double crochets into the same stitch for the next two stitches. So one and two. And now in the next two stitches, you wanna make one double crochet. So one, go into the next stitch, two, and then make a half double crochet in the next stitch. Go ahead and make two single crochets in the next stitch. So one, go back into that same stitch and make your second single crochet and then make one single crochet in the next two stitches. So one, also this can be a bit tricky if you like make your stitches quite tight. And then you want to go ahead and chain one and slip stitch just into the middle of the heart. Don't go all the way down to the magic circle or your heart will kind of fold in. And that is your final row finished. You are pretty much done, except that you have to make one more side for this heart. And then it will be time to join them together. Remember to tie off, so leave a decent tail end and grab your scissors and cut. What I like to do is I just yarn over and pull through to kind of just make a knot. I just pull it quite tight and then I'll weave it into the stitches. And then when we join the two hearts together, I will just yarn over it, like crochet over it. And I'll see you once you made your second heart. So here I have my two hearts and now we are going to join them together. I know they look kind of different, but I promise they are the same. So if I get my earphones and scrunch them up, oh my God, they actually tangle them up. <laughs> my earphones never tangle because they are just built different. Anyway, let's try and push this up. We've cut up to, we have to think if we want to do it from the top the side I think we'll do it in from the top so what you're gonna do is you want to get the side that looks nice I think this side looks nice obviously this side looks bad to do is you're going to put the right sides together align your stitches I want to find out where we did the two stitches together the first increase which I can see is here so I'm gonna go into that first one on this side and the first one on this side like so so we'll have like about this much opening you'll then go ahead and make a slip knot so this is how I make a slip knot loop it through pull the loop tight Yarn over and pull through. I'm going to pull the tail end to make that loop tighter. Then I'm going to tie the tail end to the yarn end. 
going to chain one. Now we're going to single crochet into every single stitch until that last increase that we did on this side. So I'm going to go in to that next stitch on this, on the front panel. Next stitch on the back panel. Yarn over pull through both. Yarn over pull through the two loops of my hook. Do that again here. Just like so. So this part is pretty straightforward and you want to go ahead and keep making single crochets into every stitch. Remember to put your hook through both front and back panels of the heart. Keep going until you reach the last increase on the last row on the other side and I'll see you there. So I have single crocheted all the way around and I'm currently approaching these two increases that we made. So I'm going to keep crocheting until I reach the end of that last increase. So this is the first one, this is the second one, I have one, and obviously one more stitch left. So I'm going to make a single crochet. So I'm going to carry on single crocheting in the next three stitches together, just like so. Now we're only going to single crochet across this side until the one, two, third stitch from where we join these together. So I'm going to make a single crochet. This will just make like a nice border as well for the opening part. And then when we reach the dip, we're going to slip stitch. Then I'm going to make another single crochet into that first stitch. Let's move that tail end all the way. Then again, into that next stitch. Make sure your tension's kind of tight here because this is like your final row and it'll just even everything up. So one, two, three. So one more. Now what I'm going to do is to align these two ends together. One, two, three. Go to single crochet these two together then two so then I've done the second two and do the third two together and now we're going to slip stitch into that first single crochet we did at the start of this joining round please leave your hook in the loop as it is I'm not sure why I took it out but you want to go ahead and leave a generous tail end and cut off your yarn Go ahead, yarn over and pull through to make a knot and pull it tight. We'll go ahead and slip stitch into the next single crochet and make a slip stitch just to make like a second double knot. And remember to pull on the end tightly. Now we'll weave in and out of each single crochet stitch. I'm going to weave in and out of these stitches with my crochet hook until I get to another tail end I have. You might not have this tail end in your work because you may have not had to change yarns. I did because my yarn got too knotty. So if you don't need to, uh, if you don't have any other tail ends to tie it with, like I am here, just make another slip stitch and tie the yarn to itself. And then once you've made a secure double knot, go ahead and cut off the ends and feel free to use a hot glue gun to go ahead and just you know glue those ends down because we don't want anything to undo and what you're going to do now is just tie in your magic circle tail end and tie the tail end from the dip of the heart to the magic circle make sure you do it again very tightly and nicely and you can always glue down the ends i recommend gluing down the ends i always do it i just don't do it on camera this time and i did it after making the heart and everything so yeah, repeat what you did for the other side of the heart and now you are basically done. Turn your heart inside out, 
keep looking at it shape it to however you want you might have to stretch it you might have to iron it don't worry but this is it the final product and it's matching with this heart pouch how cute if you've already made this heart pouch you are in luck because this is the perfect combo so just to show you guys how magnificent this creation is and how not tangled your earphones will be here i am just wrapping up my earphones and i'm going to shove it into that heart and show you so i did make the opening kind of small i did it so the earphones would not fall out and this is what it looks like it is quite ruby in there and look at this i'm shaking it I'm, i mean obviously if you do that it's going to come out who's going to do that anyway but watch this i'm shaking it and the earphones are not coming out so i think that is pretty good and also, I'm pretty sure you're not going to start doing black, black flips, back flips with your, oh no, maybe you will. Actually, never mind. We always have to think about every single situation, and I think this heart is the best for all of them. You can also make it to a keyring and attach it to any funky keychains you have. Here I'm using a hook and just a classic jump ring to put on mine, and I just have this sharp tool to help me open the jump ring, because I don't want to break my nails. I've broken my nails so many times, like, from this. Anyway, just find like either attach your jump ring to that half double crochet, you know, that little corner of the heart or just find a really nice like angle that you want to kind of want your heart to hang from. That's what I did. I think I just did one of the double crochets and this is what it looks like as a solo key ring on its own. It is really cute and it is such a good way to store things, small items like your earphones, even lip balms. And this is what it looks like with a funky key ring. You know, what I really like about this is you can make it in any color and compare it with any key ring you like and it will always look fantabulous. And these are the pouches together, the keyring pouch and the normal pouch, which you can also make into a keyring. But I love them both so much and it's a, such a beautiful earphone holder as well. I'm just going to use this as a keyring on its own, a solo keyring, and I'm going to hang it on my backpack because it's so cute. And it's just a really nice addition to a bag, you know, how to just make thing, make it cuter, you know, make your life cuter, make everything cuter. But yeah, I love these so much and so should you. Please make them. They are absolutely adorable. Once you make them, I promise your day will be so much better. While I think about these pouches, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Thank you for watching and I hope this tutorial helps.